Okay, let's get started. Chapter 2, 이과, 대학 캠퍼스. 이과, Chapter 2, 대학, University, Campus. University Campus. Conversation 2, New Words. Let's talk about nouns first. 숙제, 숙제, 숙제 means homework. 숙제. And if you attach 하다 to do, it becomes a verb. So 숙제하다, repeat after me, 숙제하다 means to do homework. 아침, 아침, 아침. I know some of you are confused because, let's see, 치 can be written this way, often in print. Or, but when we write, we usually write it this way. Or some people write it this way. But they're all the same. So, 아침. 아침 means, has two meanings, breakfast. But not just breakfast, um, it also means morning. Like early in the morning. Because in the morning we eat breakfast, right? 음식, 음식, let me change it to a pointer, laser pointer, oh yeah, 음식, 음식 means food, food, 커피, 커피 means coffee, we can't pronounce F, I mean we could if we wanted to, but it's just not a sound that exists in Korean, so we say 커피, 커피, P is the closest approximation of f, right? Let's talk about adjectives. Adjectives are modifiers of nouns. In English, it can be done in one of the two ways. One is pretty flower, right? Pretty modifies a noun, and it's placed right in front of the noun. Or you can say the flower is pretty. It becomes a predicate to the noun. It comes after the noun, but it has to have is is pretty the difference between english adjectives and korean adjectives is that korean adjectives actually contain in them the verb be so be pretty is korean adjective basically and because it includes a verb by the english standard it is it behaves like a verb so that means it is placed at the end of a sentence. Let me give you some examples. 괜찮다. 괜찮다. This is the pronunciation symbol, right? 괜, that's hard enough. 찬, which is tricky because there's 느 and 흐 together. And the 흐 gets realized by going to the next one because it gets really crowded. Okay, this room is too crowded. Let me go over here and make it ta instead of da. 괜찮다. And a polite form is ayo. So here it's crowded. Nu and hu together. I don't want to be in the same room. Hu, you go over here. Because it's a blank empty room, right? So 괜찮아요. But in this case, hu pretty much disappears. That's just one of those phonological phenomena that confuse a lot of people. 넓다. This is, a, again, um, a double consonant ending. 넓다. Technically, okay, this is crowded. B, you go over here. But how do you pronounce B and D together? Impossible. So B kind of disappears. And what happens is you pronounce 널 for sure. And then B, you make that mm, close your lips and hold in the air but a little buzzing because it's a nasal sound. Mm, da. But there's not enough time here for this to be released. So, nal, da, nal, nal, and then you make the bu shape with your mouth, meaning close your lips, and then just move on to da by opening your mouth again. Nal, da, nal, da. But because of this, this becomes stronger. Nal, da, da. You know this? Da, like this one. Oh, oh mm, there's no example here. Manta. 
here crowded, but H can go over here and make it ta, manta, to be many, to be much. Mashita, mashita. There's a blank space. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. There's a, not a blank space, but you know, not that crowded. So ma, shi, da. And the polite form is mashi soyo to be delicious. Mashi soyo. You see a lot of liaison happening. Okay, there's an empty room. I'm gonna go over here. There's an empty room. I'm gonna go over here. That kind of thing. Sada means to be cheap. Sada. And the polite form is sayo. Ototta. Okay, I'm gonna go over, over here. Ototta. Ototta means to be how. And the polite form is oteo. Oteo. Juta. Juta. H goes over here. Juta. To be good or to be nice. Juayo. Juayo. H kind of disappears. Kuda. Kuda means to be big. Adverbs. Adverbs describe a degree of something. Like the house is huge, but really huge, like that. So, aju is one such adverb. Aju means very, really. Cham, cham, same thing, really, truly. Verbs, okay, kada, kada, to go. I'm going to tell you about the conjugations later, how the polite forms come about. I mean, you probably can guess, because ka is the stem and da is the base form. You get rid of this one and you just add ayo, oyo, like that. Mokta, mokta, to eat, mogoyo, mogoyo. Anta. This is a case of ju and du. They don't know what to do. So ju just anta. Ju. Okay, I'll go away. I, I'll disappear. Alda. Alda. To know. Hada. 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 Base form. Heyo. Means to do. And we attach hada next to a noun a lot to make nouns into verbs. Interjection is like an expression that's thrown into a sentence. Typically, it's placed at the beginning of the sentence to express a strong emotion, like hallelujah, oh my god, you know, that kind of thing. So there's one here, oh, oh, oh. And depending on what kind of intonation you use, it can carry a lot of different meanings, right? Sometimes it could be just a hesitation, oh, or bad speech habit, mm, mm, kind of a thing. Or it could be, uh, closer to O, I, I really don't think it means O. That's rare. Suffix. Suff means, I mean, at the end, under. So attach something under, at the end. So the suffix oyo, ayo, that's a polite ending. Oyo, ayo. And I'll show you when to use oyo and when to use ayo. And conjunction. What's your function? You know that song. They connect, right? So, kurigo means end. Okay, let's talk about the first conversation. The context is, Lisa is eating breakfast in the school cafeteria, and Steve enters the cafeteria and sees her. The title is, 학교 식당 음식이 맛있어요. 학교 식당 음식이 맛있어요. School, cafeteria, food is delicious. Like I said, Korean adjectives contain in them already a verb. So it's used at the end of a sentence. Steve says, 안녕하세요, 리사 씨. 안녕하세요, 리사 씨. Lisa goes, Oh, Steve she. Oh, Steve she. Oh, Steve she. Steve says, Moheyo. Moheyo. What are you doing? Lisa, Achim Mogoyo. Achim Mogoyo. Eat breakfast. I'm eating breakfast. 
학교 식당 음식이 어때요? How 어때? How is the school cafeteria food? Repeat after me. 학교 식당 음식이 어때요? One more time. 학교 식당 음식이 어때요? 좋아요. It's good. 좋아요. 그리고 아주 싸요. 그리고 아주 싸요. And very cheap. You don't have to repeat it is because in the context you already know that they're both talking about the cafeteria food. 커피도 괜찮아요? 커피, 커피도 괜찮아요? 커피도 괜찮아요? Coffee also okay? Is coffee also okay? 네, yes. 맛있어요. 맛있어요. Yes, delicious. Okay, new expressions. 어때요 means it's an expression asking other people's opinions. 어때요? 어때? How? How is something? 어때요? Let's see. Okay. 학교가 어때요? 학교가 어때요? What is she saying? How is the school? 학교가 어때요? Or you can say 학교 식당 음식이 어때요? How is the school cafeteria mu uh, <laughs> music? School cafeteria food. How is school cafeteria food? 한국어 클래스가 어때요? 한국어 클래스가 어때요? How is the Korean class? 괜찮아요? 괜찮아요? 괜찮아요 means to be okay. But if you use a question mark at the end with a rising intonation, 괜찮아요? as opposed to 괜찮아요 means the situation is okay, not disturbing or displeasing. So it's bearable. It's okay. Nothing bothers me. Depending on the situation, it could mean it's okay, it's not bad. 괜찮아요? 괜찮아요? 네, 괜찮아요. 네, 괜찮아요. I mean, obviously, he's boxing and there's a little bruise on his eyelid and a little band-aid. So A had a reason to be concerned. That's why he's asking. 괜찮아요? 네, 괜찮아요. Another expression, 그리고. 그리고 is a conjunction that means and. Usually connects two sentences. So sentence one and 그리고. 하와이 대학교가 어때요? How is the University of Hawaii? 학교가 커요. Sentence one. The school is big. 그리고 and 학생이 많아요. There are lots of students. 학교가 커요. The school is big. And there are lots of students. I didn't find the University of Hawaii that big. I have actually spent a month there. Vers uh, verbs versus adjectives. Korean predicates. Predicate is what comes after the verb. And it usually describes what the subject does or what the subject is. Korean predicates can largely be classified into two groups, verbs and adjectives. So verbs and adjectives. And verbs, of course, express actions and processes, and adjectives describe states. So you can say the flowers grow, there's an action, right? But if you say the flowers are pretty, that's a state. The flowers are not doing anything. You're just describing how the flowers are. And because, because of it, it's... Um, actually, this graphic is a little off. 
In English, if you use the flower is pretty, is is a copula, copula verb because co coupling. It couples the subject with its modifier. But Korean, in Korean, the adjective in in itself, you, the adjective itself functions as a, as a copula verb, but it's still called an adjective. The book is cheap. In English, you have to have a verb, and cheap is the adjective. But in Korean, you say 책이 싸요. Just adjective alone does the function of both the verb and the adjective. You see that? Yep. Is cheap together is 싸요. While adjectives in English need the copula to be, Korean adjectives are used directly as predicates without the copula. Verbs and adjectives, the distinction is very important in Korean grammar, so let's practice with them some predicates that appear in this lesson. Kada, to go. Mokta, to eat. Quenchanta, to be okay. Is that a verb or an adjective? Adjective. Manta to be many, adjective. It's easy. You just when you see be, that means it's an adjective, right? Chuta, there you go, adjective. Alda, verb. Mashita to be delicious, adjective. Anta to sit down, verb. Note that ita. To have or to exist behaves like a verb in some places and like an adjective in others. 저는 한국 사람이에요. The copula ida, as an equation A is B, is a special kind of adjective which expresses an equation relation like to be. 한국 사람이에요. 이에요. 저는 한국 사람이에요. I don't want you to get hung up on these grammatical terms. They're helpful in terms of logically categorize them, categorizing them in your mind, but having to memorize them actually, if they create more work for your brain, don't worry about it. You will develop a feel for what's a verb, what's an adjective, and even if you might not be able to articulate, you, I mean, with a lot of practice, you'll know when to use what. Plight ending, oyo ayo, the structure of Korean predicates. It's a stem plus ending. The dictionary form of all the verbs and adjectives, it's ta. Ta is attached to the stem of a verb or an adjective. So let's do this. If you draw a line in the middle, you have stem, stem, stem. This, these, the stems carry the meaning, right? And then da just indicates it's a dictionary form, base form of the verb. Hada, mokta, anta. But they need to be conjugated. They need to change their forms to, to express something like the present tense, future tense, and, uh, you know, requests and suggestions, different things. <laughs> Do you have a funny feeling that your work has just started? And you would be right. So stem is on the left side, ending is on the right side. And okay, let's do the same thing over here. You draw a line in the middle. E is on the left side, ani on the left side. Ida means is, anida means is not. Copula, verb, same thing. Draw a line, ka, kada, to go, alda, to know. Mashit, to be delicious. Quenchan, to be okay. Stem, ending, stem, ending, stem, ending. You got it, right? Okay, so you do it yourself. Oops. Ku, man. I'm looking at here, right? Stem, ending, stem, ending, stem, ending, stem, ending. Sukjeha, so the stem can be long. Ta is the ending. Sa, ta. 
The polite ending oyo ayo is the most frequently used form in conversation. And you do know that Korean has a lot of honorific expressions, right? You raise the other person, you lower your person, you just raise yourself just a little bit, you lower yourself just a little bit, depending on your, it gets really, really complicated. But the polite ending that can fly in just about every situation is oyo ayo. It's very versatile, so I want you to become very familiar with it. With consonant ending stem, with the vowel ending stem, so if the last vowel of the stem is a or o, we call them bright vowels. Bright vowels. A, a, a. Doesn't that sound bright? O, o, o. Bright. All the other stems. That's group two. So when you have group one, a, o, bright vowels, and you have a bright ending. A, yo, a is also bright, right? Bright, 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 all the way. All other stems. Oyo, oyo, dark, not so bright. Ayo, the last vowel of the stem is a or o, right? Jo, ta, a, an, ta, a, al, ta. So, what would be the form? Divide it, divide the words into stems and endings first, and then replace the endings. But you have to look at the uh, final vowel sounds to see if they are bright or dark. These are all bright, right? Get rid of the ending and you add ayo. So you end up with joayo, anjayo, arayo, manayo, quenchanayo. Okay, how about dark ones? All the other stems. So first of all, you divide a a word, verb, or adjective into two parts, right? So that's right here. Mok, it, up, nar, my, my, shit. And look at all the final vowels. O, e, o, o, e. Dark. What do you do? Get rid of the ending and you add oyo. So you end up with mogoyo, isoyo, opsoyo. 널 보여, 맛있어요. Group 2 with vowel ending stems. Vowel ending. Okay, sometimes the stems can end in a vowel. Mm, a vowel contraction. Okay, let me tell you what that means. U vowel contraction. Okay. Two identical vowels, like a and a together. Like, okay. Human beings are lazy. Why pronounce two sounds when I can make them into one? So it becomes a single vowel. U, mm, U is a lazy sound anyway. Let's get rid of it if that's the last sound in the stem. So let me give you an example. A, Kada, okay, draw a line. And then Ka, A, Yo. You notice that there's A, A, right? Why pronounce it Ka, A, Yo? It sounds weird. Get rid of one. So you end up with kayo, sayo instead of saayo. Just say sayo, kayo, sayo. Because you don't want to go ah, 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 right? U, kuda. You divide it. Technically, it has to be kuoyo, 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 kuoyo. You say it really fast. Ku, kind of disappears. So it ends up being ko yo, ko yo. I need to tell you a funny story. When my baby sister, oh, actually, my middle sister was born, I, our age difference is five years. I thought she was the cutest thing in the whole wide world. And her name was Unjin, Unjin. And I loved her so much. I said, ah, unjin, ah, unjin, ah, unjin, ah, jin, ah, jin. And then, un just disappeared. Her name became ajin. I still call her ajin. Officially, it's unjin. But ajin is so much dearer. So, you know, Korean phonological phenomena can be a little crazy. Exceptions. 
What's grammar without exceptions, right? So, dictionary form, ida, anida, hada, ototta, grotta. Usually, very common words tend to be grammatical exceptions. Same thing in every language. So, polite ending is, hi, consonant, eo, vowel, yeo. If the stem ends in a consonant, you say eo. If it ends with a vowel, you say yeo. <laughs> I know, you want to choke somebody. Anieo, heyo, oteo, kureo. Okay, there's a little bit of a system, but you're trying to figure out the system will take much longer. Just memorize. Sometimes just memorization is the best policy. Okay, ida, ieo, yeo. Anida, anieo. Hada, heo. Ototta, oteo. Kurota, gureo. I mean, if you're really smart, you might want to you can make a little ditty out of it, like a little song. Okay, let's practice together. Chuta, manta, anta, nolta, mashta. Okay, what do you do first? Oh, it's not drawing a line. Okay. Cho o o o. That's a happy, bright vowel. So chuayo. A a a. Manta. What do you think? Bright, right? So what do you do? Manayo. Anta. A a a a a. That's happy, bright. Anjayo. You notice that ju finally gets released to this empty spot. Like, okay, it's crowded. I'm go going over here. Anjayo. Nolta. O. Oh. Oh, that's not bright. The bright sounds are A or O. So it's dark. What do I do? Oyo, right? Nolboyo. But this was crowded. Okay, I'm going to go sleep over here. Nolboyo. Now it gets, it can stretch out and go to sleep, right? Nolboyo. Mashita. E, 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 e. It's not bright. So oyo. Mashi soyo. Oh, I can really stretch out here. Mashi soyo. Get it? Are you getting the hang of it? Okay, polite ending. Oyo, ayo. Ka, kada. Ka, a, da. It's bright, so ayo is the right form. But say, ka, ayo. A, 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 a. What are you, a little chirping bird? You don't want to do that, so you say, ka, yo. Kuda. Koyo, ku, oyo. Ku, oyo, koyo. Disappears. U disappears. 숙제하다. 하다 becomes 해요. 숙제해요. 싸다. That's bright. 싸요. But it's a vowel, so 싸아요. I don't want to do that. 싸아아아아. You don't want that, so 싸요. 이다. 이, 어요, 예요. If there's a consonant, you say 이에요. If there's a vowel, you say 예요. 어떻다. 어때요? Memorize. 괜찮다. 괜찮아요. 아, 아, 아. Bright, right? 아니다. Not bright. 아니어요. But we say 아니에요. You know why? Because here. 에요. It's related to this. Don't ask. Don't tell. Alright. More practice. So and so. What are you doing? 뭐해요? 먹어요. It's all in the context. I'm eating, but you don't need to say I. Can't you tell? So you can practice like 뭐해요? 숙제해요. 뭐해요? 읽어요. 뭐해요? What? 전화해요. You got it. 뭐해요? 샤워해요. Did you get that? 샤워해요. Very good. Such and such e, such and such ka 어때요? How is something? The answer is 좋아요. Let's ask. Oh, actually, let's ask about. Okay, let me ask. 학교가 어때요? 학교가 괜찮아요. 괜찮아요. Or 학교가 커요. 학교가 커요. How about 학생, 학생이 어때요? 학생들이 어때요? 학생들이 어때요? How are the students? 
많아요. You're a lot. 많아요. How about coffee? 커피가 어때요? 커피가 어때요? Here, this would be appropriate. 커피가 맛있어요. Or simply 맛있어요. Okay, let's try answering these questions using and, meaning you need to come up with two sentences. 학교 식당이 어때요? How's the school cafeteria? Let me give you an example. 괜찮아요. It's okay. And, 그리고, 음식이 맛있어요. And, the food is delicious. 괜찮아요. 그리고, 음식이 맛있어요. Of course, you can answer it any, any way you want. 한국어 클래스가 어때요? How's the Korean class? Come up with a good sentence. Tosogwani Oteo. How's the library? Hakyo Shikdang Mshigi Oteo. School cafeteria food is how. How is school cafeteria food? Come up with your own sets of sentences, okay? Narration. 대학교 캠퍼스는 참 넓어요. College, the university campus is intensifier, very large. 그리고 학생이 많아요. And there are a lot of students. 도서관도 아주 커요. The library also is very big. 학교 식당은 Union Building 안에 있어요. The school cafeteria is inside of the Union Building. As I said before, you read the subject first. Then you go to the very end and then come back. Because actually, um, Korean is called a left branching language and English is called the right branching language. Branching in the sense is, you know, the verb is the central element in a sentence as here and then all the modifiers and everything appears here to the left, right, left branching. But in English you would say the school cafeteria is, that's the verb, and then everything else to indicate where this thing is, everything stretches out to the right. Of the verb. 음식이 싸요. 음식이 싸요. The food is cheap. 그리고 커피가 맛있어요. 그리고 커피가 맛있어요. And the coffee is delicious. Union building 안에는 책방도 있어요. Inside of the union building, there is also a bookstore. Union building 뒤에는 Behind the union building, 학생회관이 있어요, is the student center. 학생회관이 아주 좋아요. 학생회관이 아주 좋아요. The student center is very nice. Let me read it again so that you can repeat after me. 대학교 캠퍼스는 참 넓어요. 그리고 학생이 많아요. 도서관도 아주 커요. 학교 식당은 유니온 빌딩 안에 있어요. You break that down. 학교 식당은 유니온 빌딩 안에 있어요. 음식이 싸요. 음식이 싸요. 그리고 커피가 맛있어요. 그리고 커피가 맛있어요. 
유니언 빌딩 안에는 책방도 있어요. 유니온 빌딩 뒤에는 학생회관이 있어요. 학생회관이 아주 좋아요. 학생회관이 아주 좋아요. And these are some of the questions you could ask based on the narration. And you can practice giving answers. Alright, that's it. Well done.